Hello and welcome to our view from Series. We are at Swift Business Forum in London and I'm joined by Mark Bettenhag, who is the Global Head for Transaction Services at ING. Mark, thank you for joining me. Thank you. I want to ask you about the evolving nature of banking. So there is a lot of talk about transformation in the sector. We have plenty of fintechs coming in. We have the tech giants looking at what they can do in this field. Are you feeling nervous? <laughs> well, you actually should be, but I also feel excited, to, to be honest, because we're uh, in the middle of a classic industry disruption uh, right now. Uh, where we used to have clear verticals. It was absolutely clear that the banks did everything from front to back. And what we're now going to see is that diff different parties will step in to that value chain and will, and as somebody said during the panel, uh, we may have eight parties delivering together a single service, which also brings new complications with it. But I think we are at the eve of a uh, 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 dramatic change in, uh, in the uh, industry landscape that was once completely dominated from the back. And that will be now much more open. And that's where, why people talk about open banking. A lot of people talk about open banking refer to API, but mm -hmm. open banking in fact is a completely open landscape so that's what so we're when, we're not just talking about technology we're talking about the whole concept of what it means to provide banking services you mentioned a panel you moderated the panel discussion exactly on this subject yeah um just um earlier on um and um so uh, we're talking about uh, the newcomers in this field, um, but also banks adapting to these newcomers and whether they are actually transforming the sector itself or whether it's just a new type of competitor. Uh, but it sounds like perhaps you are more leaning towards the, the, the former, the first um, pop possible option, which is that banking is changing. Absolutely. What, what does it mean then for the actual banks? That they have to transform themselves. So, and this is not just about regulation making this possible for those new entrants to come, like PSD, uh, and about technology making it simpler for new players to jump on the wagon, and the entry barriers are simply lower. Uh, but it's also about a change, and maybe that's even more important, of mindset and culture. We are, and I am a banker, and I'm a, a career banker, uh, uh, been in this business for a very long time and, and you think this is the way things are going but you have to reset your mind take a step back and actually see what is happening and I used it as an introduction for the panel I used the five forces model of Porter the very classical thing of the 80s uh, marketing is my background so to show that the industry actually is changing both within the industry from buyers from sellers mm -hmm. from new entrants uh, and, and, and the supply side so it is, for me, it is absolutely clear that we're in a transformational phase. And I don't know what the outcome exactly is going to be, but what I do, what I do know is if you, if you don't move, if you don't act, yeah, you're going to lose. And some uh, players who are potentially acting very quickly and strongly right now are the tech giants, which we mentioned earlier. So Amazon, Apple, Google, looking at this space. But do you think they would actually want to take on the, the um, burden of dealing with the banking regulation and which areas of banking may be looking at? I can't imagine that they want to step into this uh, uh, business with, it, with it, that burden. On the other hand, uh, uh, with their technology and knowledge, they're able to play this game, I think, a bit more easy than us with our uh, uh, legacy. On the other hand, the question is if they really want to step into banking or if they want to step into gathering data and selling products. So do they really want to be a bank, like we think in the classical way, or do they want to be the distribution layer? And behind that are all kinds of suppliers, and maybe us ourselves, uh, helping them. And then you get a different type of uh, uh, business. A very different type of business where the distributor is one agent of that kind of setup and the manufacturer is something else potentially a bank that's it and uh, but the manufacturer could also be a fintech that is very good oh, eh? we were on, on the penalty on, on on the panel we had uh, mike Levin from currency cloud if you look at people from transferwise etc they're focusing on a very specific niche and try to do this extremely well while we as banks and i think i thought one of the guys uh, on the panel uh, from barclay said it we want to deliver all those services the question is can we keep on delivering all these different services ourselves uh, 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 and spend, let's say, five million here, 10 million there, etc., while somebody else is spending 500 million or a billion on just that piece of the puzzle? And that is something that we have to think through. 
uh, whether we're able and capable of doing that. So one-stop shop sounds nice, but the question is if you have to run the shop front to back. Yes. So that, that's what I mean with transformation. Transformation is not about fintechs or, or tech giants taking over. It's about creating a new ecosystem which nobody actually knows what the outcome will be. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like the startup of the internet where you have all kinds of players, but in the end, it nicely turns out you have people working on the front, people on the back, etc. And I think we're looking towards uh, the similar kind of movement in the banking industry. Very good. Well, very exciting times indeed. It is, absolutely. Thank you very much for your comments. Thank you.